Is your revenue stuck even though you're working harder than ever? What if the only thing keeping you from growing is the way you think about challenges? In this video, I'm going to share the mindset shift that takes you from barely surviving to truly thriving. And it all starts with your approach to problems. In today's video, we're going to uncover why some people stay stuck in survival mode while others, they break free and they grow. I'll show you how to shift from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. That will you open doors you didn't even know were there. Plus, you'll learn small practical actions that you can take starting today to make the transition from survival to growth. So let's start by breaking down what a scarcity mindset is and how it holds you back. When you're in survival mode, your mind becomes wired to think only about today's problems. Your goals shift from how can I grow to how can I just get through this? And this kind of thinking creates an invisible ceiling. You get stuck doing the same things over and over. And you keep hoping for a different result. So let's explore some ways that this mindset holds you back. You probably caught yourself saying, if I just land this next client, I'll be all right. But here's the problem. When your only focus is surviving, you stop thinking about how to build for the future. A slow month, it feels like a crisis. And instead of using that time to plan, you scramble, you take on low value work. See, growth requires long-term thinking. And that's hard to do when you're stuck in the mindset of just enough. When you're focused on survival, every decision feels risky. You hesitate to invest in your business thinking, well, if this goes wrong, and playing it safe may feel smart, but it limits your growth. For example, maybe you've thought about hiring a virtual assistant, but you fear that it may cost too much, and that fear holds you back. But without any help, you're stuck doing the admin work, and instead of focusing on tasks that can actually grow your revenue, but the truth is, the right risks are necessary for progress. When you're worried about survival, your creativity takes a hit. Your brain is too busy thinking about what could go wrong, and it doesn't notice new ideas or better solutions. You stick with what feels safe, even if it isn't working. For example, think back to a time when you were overwhelmed with the work. Did you have the mental space to think of new ways to grow your business? Probably not. And that right there, that's the trap of scarcity. That mindset, it narrows your focus. It keeps you from seeing what's actually possible. Now let's look at what happens when you shift to an abundance mindset. One that opens doors, it creates opportunities for growth. Instead of saying, I can't do that, ask, how can I make this work? That simple shift opens up the possibilities you may have missed. Even setbacks become opportunities when you're open to them. For example, if a project gets canceled, instead of thinking, well, there goes my revenue, you can think, what can I build during this time that I didn't expect to have? An abundance mindset shows that every situation holds potential. You see, taking risks becomes easier when you trust that the outcome will bring value, even if it's not exactly what you expected. So instead of worrying about what could go wrong, you focus on what could go right. For example, raising your prices might feel risky, but with the right mindset, you realize that even if some clients leave, you'll attract higher paying ones. And as a result, you'll free up more time and you'll be able to find even better opportunities. When you believe there's enough for everyone, collaboration becomes an opportunity instead of a threat. You stop seeing others as competitors and you start viewing them as partners. For example, a consultant who once saw peers as competition can shift to working together on larger projects, opening up new doors for growth. When you embrace abundance, you actually create more opportunities for everyone. So the question is, 
how do you make this shift? How do you shift from survival mode to growth mode? Well, it's all about small, intentional changes in how you think and act every single day. The first step is to reframe your thoughts. Instead of asking yourself, how can I survive? Ask, how can I grow through this challenge? The simple change helps you focus on solutions instead of problems. For example, if a project gets delayed, well, use the time to build something new rather than to stress out about lost revenue. When you look for ways to grow, you'll start seeing them everywhere. And next, you need to focus on the tools and the resources you already have. When you make the most of what's available, you build momentum. And that momentum is what produces growth. For example, a photographer who can't afford new gear, he focuses on getting creative with what they have. And in doing so, they build a portfolio that attracts even more clients. The key is working with what you have in your hands right now. It reminds me of Moses when the Lord asked him, what's in your hand? And he said, a rod. And he told him to throw it down. The point is, use what's in your hands right now. You see, big changes come from small, consistent actions. You start by identifying one thing you can do today to move forward. Whether it's following up with a client, learning a new skill, or improving a process. It's like planting a tree. Growth takes time. Both daily effort, you will eventually see the results. My business coach, uh, Myron Golden, he actually talks about how a tree grows, both the gravitropic nature of the tree that grows towards gravity, the root system, and the phototrophic nature of the tree, which grows up towards the sun. That's what we see. We see the fruits. So by focusing on your abundance mindset every single day, even when you don't see the results, eventually you will see the results. Shifting from survival to growth mode isn't about doing everything all at one time. It's about making small, intentional changes that build momentum over time. You need to reframe your thoughts, focus on what you have, take one step at a time each and every day. But here's the thing. Even with the right mindset, you need focus to turn your goals into reality. In this next video, I'll show you how to prioritize purpose and push past distractions so you can make real progress where it matters most. So go ahead and click here and watch it now.